Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll give you a short introduction into our content versioning system. We'll start off by importing a clip into our project. If not already done so, make sure that you've switched your audio onto mute so you don't get blasted away with the video sounds as soon as you put it on the timeline. I'll now add this video clip onto the timeline quite a few times, maybe one more in a separate track. There we go. I'll now zoom in a bit. And as you can see, we have quite a few clips all from the same media, all spread out over the timeline. Now I want to replace this clip with a new version. I can go here, do a right click, and it will give me the option to import a new version. Click on it and I'll now grab a new clip. The import process gets started straight away. So we have the same rules as before. It gets reanalyzed, a proxy file is generated, and we get the information about the clip. And as you can see, it has been replaced all over the project. So any instance of the clip I've used has now been replaced by this new version. As it normally is in production, somebody will have the great idea to roll back a version and try to get back to the old clip. So you can click onto the content object, go to your main category, and here you can see a tab called current version. Click on it and now you have a list of all the versions you've imported and with one click you can switch back to the previous clips or back to the version you've imported to easily do a versioning management inside of Vertex.